I'm doing my first unboxing in Florida of the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, quick, quick favor. If you're a fan of budget technology and things of that nature, and you're, you're a big fan of, you know, smartphones and stuff like that, consider subscribing, joining the crew. Make sure you hit the bell icon and get notified for more videos just like this. But today we're going to be talking about a brand new smartphone that's under $200, depending on which model you get. So this is the Samsung Galaxy A. 03 s and we're gonna do an unboxing right after this so make sure you guys stay locked in with me and um i'm gonna see you right after this real quick all right guys so we do have the samsung galaxy a03 s we're just gonna do a quick uh you know what i'm saying a look right of this phone you know what i'm saying like just check it out for the very first time right so this is just a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy A03s, which is, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be, right? It's gonna be an upgrade to the A02s, came out last year. So this one does have 15 watch charging, fast charging. It also does have that Bluetooth 5.0, it's upgraded. We get triple cameras. We do get, you know, um, some pretty quick, good specs on this device, right? So it does say that this is printed with soy ink. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what that actually means, but I guess it's, I have no idea why they would use soy ink, right? But let's go ahead and take a look at this thing, right? They do give you a converter. So let's go ahead and check this out. So this should, this thing should just open right up. Let me see. There is one tape right there. Let's just go ahead and cut that open. And now it says that the seal has been sliced. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy A03s, right? So this is a budget device that you can pick up and what you're greeted with when you first take a look at the context contents of the box is basically your literature, right? Quick start guide, warranty card information, uh, things of that nature. And then you do get, you know, uh, the phone itself. We're going to put that right to the side because I kind of want to see what else comes inside of the box, right? So this does have that, you know, type C cord for, you know, fast charging up to 15 Watts. It won't have wireless charging. So just keep that in mind, but we do have the 15 Watts charging brick and you can get the adapter. So you can see that that actually fits really snug. I like how it's, it fits really snug. It doesn't feel loose. And then you get your SIM remover tool with um, no headphones. Oh wait, they did give us headphones on here. So we do get headphones on here, right? These are those ones where they go over the ear, kind of weird, right? I'm not a big fan of these, right? But what you basically gotta do is put this over your, your around your neck, right? So this is the right one. And then this would go around your neck and that would be the left one. So, you know what I'm saying? These are the headphones that they offer. And so they, they, they actually fit really nice in my ear. So let's go ahead and see what else comes inside of the box, right? So. That's everything that comes inside of the box. We have the phone here itself, right? The Infinity V display triple camera set up with the fingerprint sensor. So this one will actually have a fingerprint sensor. I remember the A02S didn't have that last year. It didn't have the fingerprint sensor. So we do get three things. Bigger battery, right? Faster battery for charging, Bluetooth uh, upgrade and the fingerprint sensor. So, we're gonna, it's gonna be on the side as well. So I'm gonna give this thing some juice, right? And feeling it in the hand, it almost feels like the Samsung Galaxy A02S, right? It's got that blue color to it. It's got that, that vinyl feel to it. So it's got a vinyl finish on the back of it, which won't gather any fingerprints whatsoever. So I just wanna make sure you guys make, make note of that. We do got a headphone jack on here for listening to music, type C port at the bottom, speaker at the bottom microphone at the bottom at, as well as the top and then as far as the button placement right we do get our uh, sd card slot tray for the micro sd card slot as well as your nano uh, sim card as well right and then on this it says it's starting up right now so we do have the power button which is doubled as a fingerprint sensor right here on the right hand side of the device depending on which way you're looking at it right and then you know what i'm saying above that 
is your volume rocker. So it does say that this is the United Kingdom. We're gonna go ahead and do English. We're gonna do United States, right? We're gonna go ahead and hit start, right? And then it does say you have to agree to all of this information, right? So let's just jump in and kind of see what um, they have kind of fine tuned with this version, right? So let me just jump into, you know what I'm saying? The, my Wi-Fi connections and stuff like that. So you can see right here, that you know they do have all your Wi-Fi right here, so you do have the Wi-Fi you could choose from. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that up, right? I'm gonna go ahead and set up the Wi-Fi. And let's just enter my password. Okay, so I let me see. Let me see if I remembered it by heart. It's like a new password, so 57% uh, of battery automatically. Or off, off for the jump so that's kind of cool and then it does say we are connected to the internet so I, I do like the feel in the hand this has like a 6.5 inch display and this is just the unboxing first look right so I'm not gonna be going over everything but I do know this thing has a Helio P35 in it let's kind of check out the storage and kind of see what they did there's two different variants with this guy right so you could get the 32 or the 64 or things like that you also do have an option to pick the, the color that you want so they got like red blue black are the main colors for this one i like the blue one the a02s i have in red so i don't want to get they do offer this in red as well which is i really love the red color but you know what i'm saying i didn't want to make it get a red color of the a02s and the actual you know what i mean the same color twice so i got two different colors blue and the, this this is the blue one and then we do have that red one right so you do get the black option as well so you do get the sim card remover tool and just in case you didn't know they put it right here in the packaging so you could just release it from this thing and i have a million of these right but these always are good because you could just pop this open and kind of check out what you have available so we do get those dual sim card slots as well as the sd micro sd card slot as well so there's one two three different slots that you could you know what i'm saying and expand your storage there's no screen protector on here you might have to buy a case, right? Just to protect your app, your your phone, right? So it does have the Samsung branding down below, but it kind of blends in nicely. It's not, you can't really see that too much. Um, it's not too like in your face. So I kind of like how they did that. And then this blue color is like a navy blue. It's kind of like a, like a royal blue. I would describe this as a royal blue. The edges turn white when it's in the light and it says it's starting up. So. We do get fingerprint sensor on this one compared to the A02S, which is an upgrade. We get, a, I believe, a bigger battery, faster charging battery. The 10 watts was last year. This year, it's the 15 watts. And then we do get Bluetooth 5.0 as well. So they did some cool improvements on here, right? Um, the Helio P35 is on here. And, um, you know, that, that, that processing chip is good when you pair it along with four gigabytes of RAM, right? So you won't really have, it's not going to be like a gaming phone, but with four gigabytes of RAM, you will be able to pretty much do anything that you've tried to do, like that you try to do, you'll be able to push through with that, with that four gigabytes of RAM. So I'm just waiting for the phone to start up. It says that it's getting ready and this may take a few minutes. So, you know, I'm just going to be patient. Make sure you, um, if you do me a quick favor, if you're enjoying the video so far, I, I would a, a truly appreciate it if you would join the crew by leaving a comment, also hitting the like button, subscribe, and get notified for more videos just like this because I'm just gonna be doing, a, I'm just, this is just the unboxing, but we're definitely gonna dive in to this phone in a little bit more detail. So it does say it's getting ready and it's setting up, but I truly, I extremely appreciate you for uh, doing that for us. So let's just jump right back here. All right, we back online. So basically, this thing does have the same exact battery as the A02S from last year. And it, the A02S did have 15 watts fast charging as well. Um, so pretty much the upgrade we're getting is the fingerprint sensor. We're also going to be testing out the cameras and things like that. And last year's model did have the Snapdragon 450. This one has the Helio P35. So I'm not sure if that's truly like an upgrade when it comes to processing. All right guys, so let's just go ahead, unlock the device. We do get that side-mounted fingerprint sensor, but you know, let, I want to kind of test the speed of that, but let's just kind of take a look at this device. And it does re remind me of the Samsung Galaxy A02S a lot. 
we get QR scanner on here, which I really do like. And if you want, you could add more. So you could add Dolby Atmos, right? I think you could just drag that in. And I really like how they did that because now you could just drag it in. Um, bedtime mode, that's a new feature that I actually really like too because when you're going to sleep, it puts your phone on D&D &D and it also blacks out the screen, the black and white so that you're not looking at bright colors when you go and get a notification. Like if you're looking at it in the middle of the night, you won't be, the colors won't throw you off. Netflix is on here, Samsung Free, Samsung Notes, Microsoft Apps is on here as well. So if you're a big Microsoft guy, you have that on here. Did they put the, the, they put Outlook on here and LinkedIn as well as Office. And um, right off of the gun, there's no app tray on here. So I just want to let you guys know that there's no app tray off right on from the top. So I just want to let you guys know that. But you can go the if I swipe up, there we go. So that's the app tray. It doesn't have you have to swipe up like it's weird. Let me see. Okay, so we do get that. My bad. Went to settings and kind of look at what we got going on there. So it does say right here that we can look at the emojis, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. And they are those Samsung ones and they look really good. You get all of them and they load quick. Let's open up the camera, five megapixel in the front and on the back, we're gonna be able to get, you know, a decent shooter. It's not gonna be the, the, the most sophisticated camera in the world, right? but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good um, camera. You do get this, I think this is the telephoto mode that they put on here. This looks like the telephoto mode. One times, two times, four times, 10 times. And then when you go into settings, right, you get HDR, you also do get QR scanning, watermark, things of that nature. Then we, we can, let me just go into video, right? Cause I kind of want to see what it does when I switch the video settings and then we'll kind of wrap up the video right now. But we do get pro. Deca, macro, hyperlapse, and food, right? And that's that's pretty much everything. You could add more if you if you did so desire, and then save it for later on. We also do get the gestures on here if you do so desire, as well. So some pretty some pretty good stuff on here. Let me just take a selfie of my face and stuff like that. Let me see how that kind of looks. And then you get the group the group one, so it it goes back further. And uh, let me show you what that looked like so you can see what it looked like. And um, when you zoom in, you can see all of the beard follicles, right? So that's pretty cool. And then when you swipe up, you can kind of see the statistics. So it's 1932 by 2576. And the file is pretty small, relatively small. We're using that. It's telling you what camera we're using. We're, we're, we're using... In Google Photos, it'll tell us better, right? Because in Google Photos, they always give you um, the, the dot, dot uh, let's see, like deny, boom, boom. Let me see, allow, um, let me get out of here. So when you go into Google Photos and just swipe, swipe up, you could, it tells you that we're using the 2.27 millimeter, five megapixel camera right there and then when you, you we also do get that five megapixel camera right there and it's 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 um zoomed in closer so that that's pretty cool that you get that information right you get the google lens on here as well um just a really solid budget device and i'm going to get into it in a little bit more detail but we do have a really nice 6.5 inch infinity v display on here which does look pretty bright it's not going to be the brightest in the entire world i just want to throw that out there but it will definitely hold up very well and you won't you won't be disappointed and this did come out in june 22nd right so it is now available but this is the 4g model we won't get 5g we do have 60 hertz not 90 but um i'm gonna get into a whole lot more detail with this device let me know what you guys think about the samsung galaxy a02s in the next i'll get right back with you later crew peace